Hi folks, I'm here in Gujarat in uh, the west of India where I'm uh, on a, a mission to deepen the already incredibly close friendship and partnership between the UK and India. From local performers lining the streets to hoardings with his face bearing down on the entourage, from a red carpet rollout to a ceremonial reception, Boris Johnson received a welcome befitting a king. I felt a bit like Sachin Tendulkar, uh, in, in, uh, and uh, uh, my face was about as ubiquitous uh, everywhere as, as Amitav Bachchan. Uh, I, was, I was everywhere to be seen and uh, it, was, it was fantastic. Now, and Johnson fit right in, even attempting to spin a charkha at Mahatma Gandhi's Sabarmati Ashram and paying respects at the Akshardham Temple. What however backfired for the British Prime Minister was his visit to a JCB manufacturing plant owned by Lord Anthony Paul Bamford, a major Tory donor. But over the past few days, images of JCB machines demolishing homes and shops have become a recurring theme in India. With Boris Johnson receiving a backlash both in the UK and in India for posing on JCB bulldozers at a time when it is being considered by some in India as instruments of oppression, I asked Downing Street whether the Prime Minister's decision to visit the JCB factory in India was wise in retrospect. A spokesperson for the Prime Minister told me that this issue is predominantly for the Indian authorities and that the Prime Minister chose to visit the JCB factory because it is a very good illustration of UK business. Business is definitely high on the agenda. In fact, his very first meeting was with one of the wealthiest men in India, Gautam Adani, who has heavily invested in the UK. Several bilateral collaborations in defence, healthcare, green energy and technology have been announced. The free trade agreement that is in the works will only strengthen what Johnson calls a powerhouse partnership between the two countries. What we're doing is taking forward an ambitious 10-year roadmap for British-Indian relations that we agreed last year. It was great to see you at the G7, uh, but uh, since then the threats of, uh, of autocratic coercion have grown even further. And it's therefore vital that we deepen our cooperation, including our shared interest in keeping the Indo-Pacific open and free. So today, we've agreed a new and expanded defence and security partnership, a decades-long commitment that will not only forge tighter bonds between us, but support your goal, and the renderer of Make in India. Free trade agreement ke vishay par दोनों देशों की टीम्स काम कर रही हैं, बातचीत में अच्छी प्रगति हो रही है और हमने इस साल के अंत तक एफटीए के समापन की दिशा में पूरा प्रयास करने का निर्णय लिया है पिछले कुछ महीनों में भारत ने यूएई और ऑस्ट्रेलिया के साथ फ्री ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट का समापन किया है उसी गति उसी कमिटमेंट के साथ हम यूके के साथ भी एफटीए पर आगे बढ़ना चाहेंगे हमने रक्षा क्षेत्र में सहयोग बढ़ाने पर भी सहमति व्यक्त की है रक्षा क्षेत्र में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी डिजाइन और डेवलपमेंट सभी क्षेत्रों में यूके द्वारा आत्मनिर्भर भारत के समर्थन का हम स्वागत करते हैं प्रधानमंत्री के रूप में भले ही यह उनकी पहली भारत यात्रा है लेकिन एक पुराने मित्र के रूप में वे भारत को बहुत अच्छे से जानते हैं समझते हैं पिछले कई वर्षों से भारत और यूके के संबंधों को मजबूत करने में प्रधानमंत्री जॉनसन की बहुत महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका रही है इस समय जब भारत 
अपनी आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव मना रहा है प्रधानमंत्री बोरिस जॉनसन का यहां आना अपने आप में एक ऐतिहासिक पल है बट इवन एज बोरिस जॉनसन एंजॉयज द इंडियन हॉस्पिटैलिटी बैक इन लंडन द पार्टी गेट स्कैंडल हैज जेनरेटेड नथिंग बट हॉस्टिलिटी Johnson has been accused of misleading MPs when he claimed that he had no knowledge of parties taking place in number 10 during the national lockdown imposed by him due to the pandemic. What a joke. Yeah. Even now as the latest mealy-mouthed apology stumbles out of one side of his mouth a new set of deflections and distortions pour from the other. Yeah. but the damage is already done the public have made up their mind yes. they don't believe a word the prime minister says yes. they know what he is yes. as ever with this prime minister those close to him find themselves ruined and the institutions he vows to protect damaged yes. good ministers forced to walk away from public service the chancellor's career up in flames and the leader of the scottish conservatives rendered pathetic for all those unfamiliar with this prime minister's career this isn't some fixable glitch in the system it's the whole point it's what he does it's who he is He knows he's dishonest and incapable of changing. So he drags everybody else down with him. By keeping the prime minister in his job, conservative MPs have made themselves guilty by association. And if they vote no, if they vote to kick the can down the road again, if they vote to bend the rules, let one of their own off the hook again, if they don't hold the prime minister to account for his law-breaking and lies, by voting this prime minister out conservative mps should know that their constituents will hold them to account at the ballot box right i'm now in a position where i have to acknowledge that if the prime minister occupied any other office of senior responsibility if he was a secretary of state if he was a minister of state a parliamentary under secretary a permanent secretary a director general if he was a chief executive of a private company or a board director he would be long gone i have to say i'm sorry that for not obeying the letter and the spirit and i think we have heard that the prime minister did know what the letter was the prime minister now should be long gone trouble mounts for boris johnson as mp's across all parties have agreed for a parliamentary investigation into the conduct of the prime minister Also the faith of voters in Boris Johnson's leadership is low and this will fall further if he's unable to convince India to change its stand on Russia. On Friday the leaders of the two country held extensive discussions and Ukraine was definitely on the agenda. But expectations on Boris Johnson to convince Modi to speak against Kremlin's aggression in Ukraine and to sever all diplomatic and business ties with Russia are extremely high but even though the two countries and the two leaders share a very strong friendship Boris Johnson is aware that he cannot lecture the Indian prime minister on India's foreign policy at best what he can do is convince India to look at UK as a strong partner for defense and trade deals hopefully displacing russia in the future and in this regard boris johnson has clinched several crucial deals with india that will greatly benefit the uk but looking at his plummeting popularity this may not be enough to convince the british public that johnson's trip to india was a grand success This is Ruhi Khan for Mojo Story. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent robust journalism.